Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Rudd of Rudd's Home Farm, and today, if you are wondering what hydroponic farming is, then you've come to the right video. Today we will go over what is hydroponics and how hydroponics works for your potential plants. Stay tuned. All right, first, so what is hydroponics? It is the process of growing plants in sand, gravel, or liquid with added nutrients, but without soil. Normally, the nutrients the plant needs are in the dirt, but growing mediums do not have nutrients and must be added. So for it to be non-soil, it cannot inherently have nutrients in it. So these are your rock wool, your peat moss, um, even some potting soil. Sometimes they don't have nutrients in them. So specifically, the nutrients are added to the water and the grow medium is more of a kind of it, it secures the plant it's for the, where the plants would kind of grow but that's not where they get their nutrients from that's different from dirt now onto the fun part why does it work you would think that plants submerged in water would drown right uh, you may have killed a few or many potted plants by overwatering them let's go over some fundamentals of how plants breathe now keep in mind this is a very quick overview and we're merely scratching the surface on how plants work all living things breathe specifically respire almost all cells either take in co2 and produce oxygen or take in oxygen and produce co2 photosynthesis producing cells which are mostly in the leaves in the plant produce oxygen from CO2. These cells are easiest to identify as the green color they give. This is all general knowledge. You should know this by now. All other cells of the plants, which include roots, branches, stems, flowers, fruit, all convert oxygen to CO2. Pretty much any non-green part of the plant. So all cells of the plants do not have access to the outside air so it has to be delivered to them through a process called transpiration. Transpiration, don't, okay, I tried. <laughs> Transpira transpiration is the process of how water, nutrients, and gases move through the plants. Transp transpiration will be covered in more detail in another video. So, we understand that plants need oxygen and CO2 we understand that each cell, just like our body, doesn't have access to air. So they have to have that delivered. And the way that nutrients are delivered is from the roots up. So the roots take in oxygen and it delivers it to all the cells of the body. Therefore, the roots need oxygen. So the interesting thing about roots is they respire in water or in air. Even though roots are buried, they can absorb oxygen from the small spaces in the soil or from the gases dissolved in water. However, once the oxygen in the water has been absorbed, the cells can no longer breathe and they die. This is how you kill a plant by overwatering. Putting too much water, the plants will absorb all the water in the, in the dirt and from the water and then they will just die. All right, so now we're down to the, the, the question, how does hydroponics work without killing the plant? Each hydroponic system fundamentally has a means for the roots to get oxygen through a few methods. Number one, air bubblers diffuse air into the water continually. Number two, flowing and churning systems dissolve gases into the water just like a river would like with churning and flowing most systems have a waterfall part where the most amount is dissolved and churned and the final method is exposing the roots to air the crack key method allows some roots to sit in the water and some to be exposed to the air allowing to the roots to not only get the nutrients but the oxygen like root plants are really smart so you you They'll absorb all the water from the water part and then they'll take oxygen from the air above it. And pretty, pretty smart plan. Okay, so the final statement of what hydroponics is, is hydroponics is the method of growing plants without the need for dirt. 
Instead, they dissolve nutrients and gases into the water to supply the, nat the plant's needs. Thank you for watching, and we'll stay tuned for another informative video on how to grow your plants. This is fundamental knowledge, and it will help you grow plants better. Um, I've been killing a lot of plants. A lot of my plants have died until I really started digging into the basics. You learn the basics and then build upon it, and then you'll have a really good growing experience. Until next time, subscribe. Go to my page. Subscribe to my email list. I got stuff coming, and... You guys stay tuned. Thanks. Bye-bye.